Okay, Dad, I have a question. So, we're always talking about how Summers and Zims is different and special in the way that we actually do the work. So, say I'm buying a new unit and I'm looking at my quotes, Summers and Zims and some other guy. Um, what, what would you say is different about what Summers and Zims is going to do? Um, lots of things. First off, and I'm assuming in your situation, uh, we'll just say both are three-time carrier air conditioners, same model number. Still a vast difference. Uh, I just had lunch with a customer who's a long-time successful Toyota salesman, and we were talking about Toyotas or Fords, and I said, well, in our world, it's a little different. It's not like somebody's pulling in your driveway with a Toyota and a Ford, and you get to pick which one you like the best. In our world, it's much more like somebody's backing into your driveway with a whole truckload of Ford parts, dumping them. Another guy's driving in your driveway with a whole bunch of Toyota parts and dumping them. In our world, all that needs to be assembled and put together. So it's a really big deal what company is putting this together. Because yes, you might get the doors, and the shiny parts on right, but that doesn't mean the inner workings of the engine and the brakes and somebody took time to bleed the brake lines and all that stuff. All that has to be done when you're putting an air conditioner in and it's just hard to make people understand that. Besides, uh, and that's the technical part, uh, that's why Kenny's training the guys every Thursday morning. When we leave the building, it's amazing to me when we leave a customer's home, we know how many BTUs of cooling and heating it's putting out, what the gas pressure is, what the efficiency is. Uh, we see people putting furnaces in and there's no hole in the flue pipe where you put the analyzer. So they installed it and it's there and it's running, but who knows if it's running like it's supposed to because they never did any of the efficiency tests, they never did any of the safety tests. And here I'll pause and say that that's obviously not everybody. There's there's good people out there. We're not the only good company out there, but I guess it's the tight labor market. We see more weird stuff than we ever did. So uh, there are good companies. There are good one man shows out there. Guys that work by themselves that know what they're doing, but just make sure you're picking one of them, I guess is what I'm saying.